very flexible. This is the start of my solo video. I'm gonna go find a place to thread my brows because these brows gotta go. And the brow place that I'm heading towards is called Zuby's Threading Corner. I usually don't let anyone touch my brows. They got good reviews, so let's check it out. That was super fast. I like the end result, so very happy. Um, I was able to squeeze in that appointment right before my hair appointment. I'm just gonna get a cut and dye a little bit. This ball is way too long. Now I wanna change it out. It'll grow back. So like up to here, I wanna dye it without bleach. I was thinking brown, I'm very flexible. I just want to change. Okay. My hair is naturally like curly, so I don't know. Like, would layers be good? Yeah, we can do something like light layers and create some movement for you. Okay. So easy for you to like manage it. Without bleach, yeah. Without bleach. Brown, yeah. yeah. Oh, she has really pretty hair. Her stylist. Her color's pretty. Okay. So any, yeah. I don't. I don't even care. Oh, that's good. This is this is what I'm looking for. Yeah. took about three hours um and actually not as expensive as i thought it was gonna be all right guys this is so long overdue but i'm finally gonna show you guys like my ultimate asian wavy hair care routine my hair came a really long way i haven't washed my hair in a couple of days it's been like five six days and actually after this hair care routine it's been easier to not wash my hair and I've trained my hair to not get too oily. So before I wash my hair, I apply this baby right here. It's the Miel Organics Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This is just 10 bucks, but I always apply it the day I'm going to wash my hair. This is super good for split end care, scalp treatment. Rosemary and mint essential oils are known to increase blood circulation, which allows your scalp to have more oxygen, which stimulates faster hair growth. Kind of wait like 15, 20 minutes until I wash my hair. All right, I'll see you guys back in 15 minutes. The shampoo I've been using lately after coloring my hair is this Redken Color Extend Magnetic Shampoo. I really wanted a shampoo that'll protect my hair color, so I got this one and it's sulfate free. The shampoo strengthens the hair without stripping the color. And keep in mind, you should only be massaging your scalp with the shampoo. I don't know why I learned this way too late in my life. I also want to mention that I wash my hair twice with the shampoo before I move on to the conditioner. Um, this is the conditioner I've been using, which is the Redken Color Extend Magnetics Conditioner, which is also a great combo with the shampoo I'm using. This conditioner smells so good. I love that it moisturizes my hair while also conserving the color of it as well. Okay, I just came out of the shower. My hair is feeling super clean and fresh. Okay, now let me jump right into what I do. Okay, first thing. This is the Marc Anthony Coconut and Shea Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. It detangles and moisturizes for softer, smoother hair, and it also includes a lot of biotin. I feel like a little goes a long way, and I just like comb it out. This is a step where I comb, comb, comb. You just don't brush it when, when your hair is dry. It's also free from sulfates, parabens, and fillets. Just right here. Like you want your hair to be wet because it just does a better job in absorbing your products. So right after that, I use another leave-in conditioner. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil from Shea Moisture, a super popular brand. This is supposed to strengthen and restore your hair and it has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. It does a really good job in controlling the frizz because y'all know my hair gets so frizzy. Next, I go in with another product from Shea Moisture. This is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. So this also 
works really well for me. And it really just helps define the curls while bringing back the moisture and it also reduces fizz and produces shine. You're supposed to give your hair as much attention as your skin and I feel like that's something I just didn't do a good job of within the last year. I feel like I like neglected my hair and only gave love to my skin and now I'm realizing the importance of both. So I like ripped off the cover but this is the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard Natural Styling Gel. And also, let me just tell you guys, this hair care routine is not clean. It's a mess. If you have like wavy hair, you want to preserve the curls. And let me tell you, drying it with a towel is just so bad for your hair. It strips the hair quality. So you want to dry your hair with a, an old t-shirt. First, I'm gonna go with the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. Honestly, I've tried so many other cleansers and I still keep going back to this one. I feel like nothing else really works on my skin and I feel like this is just the most gentle cleanser. If you have dehydrated, acne-prone skin, it is super important that you layer on the toner. I love applying the toner with this spray. It's just easier to just like press down and have the toner absorb into your skin. The toner that I use is the Sunjung PH 5.5 Relief Toner. It's better for my skin if I switch up products. This is the new serum I've been using, but it's not new because like you guys can see I'm almost done with it. Come on, God. This is super good for people who have like redness. I always deal with redness. If I'm tired or if I'm like stressed, it like really shows on my skin. So this has been really good in just balancing my skin out. I take the Toriden Diven Cream. This is the low molecular hyaluronic acid with oligopeptide one. This is just like my favorite moisturizer during the day. Wow, well, I'm gonna go walk my dog while my hair still dries. And then obviously the last step, this is the Round Lab Birch Juice Sun Cream that I've been raving about. So this is pretty much my hair and skincare routine, except after I film this part, I'm gonna go and ice roll my skin. So lately, I've been just realizing that I also need an inner glow up. If you guys watch me or if you guys know me in person, you know I like love drinking. It's always been my go-to remedy and I've noticed that I abuse it a lot. It's been like that for many years and lately it hasn't really been giving me joy at all. I want to take care of myself now and I realize it's not sustainable for my long-term health. Yeah, I've been really, I've been trying my best not to drink as much and it really shows mentally and physically for me. I've been loving waking up, not feeling hungover, not hating myself. I've been a lot more focused, feeling a lot more rejuvenated. The real glow up really happens when you're actually feeling good on the inside that's it that's it i just wanted to share that little piece before i end this video but i hope you guys enjoy this one we'll see you guys in my next video it makes me happy so thank you